Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to engrave acrylic ornaments on the great maker show and tell. Ever since the engraving tool came out for the Cricut Maker this summer, I have been engraving all the things that I can think of. And now that the holidays are upon us, I can't help but engrave some ornaments too. Isn't this adorable? It's just so easy now. These simple, beautifully engraved acrylic ornaments are a great way to personalize the perfect gift for your friends and family. Now to engrave acrylic, you need the engraving tool, which only works on the Cricut Maker cutting machine at the time I'm making this video. The engraving tool goes right into clamp B on your Cricut Maker, just like this. Um, and it does all the hard work for you. Now it's important that whatever acrylic you use, it needs to be two millimeters or thinner. That's one eighth inch or less any thicker and it won't fit in your machine. Now I'm using three inch acrylic blanks for this project. Get the link to where I found these in my supply list under this video or over on my blog at jennifermaker.com. In addition to the engraving tool and the acrylic blanks, you're going to need some painter's tape to keep your acrylic firmly on your mat right here. And then all you need is some ribbon or string, an ornament hook, something to hang your really cool acrylic ornaments on your tree. And the only other thing you need is of course the design. You can make your own in Cricut Design Space or use my free designs. And the cool thing about my engraving designs is that I've enhanced them so your engraving tool fills them in and the design is bolder than usual. So let me show you where to get my free designs and then I will show you how to engrave your own acrylic ornaments. Step one, get the designs. Download the free engraved ornament designs from my blog at jennifermaker.com slash 258. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries and then click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 258 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for engraving with a Cricut Maker. Step two, upload the designs. First, upload the SVG cut file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com SVGS. Once you have uploaded the designs into Cricut Design Space, check the sizing. First, measure the width and height of your acrylic discs and adjust the size of your design as needed. You can resize with the resize icon in the lower right corner, or just type a new size into the height and width boxes at the top of your screen. I've already preset the design to engrave for you, so there's not much else you need to do other than decide which ornament you want to engrave. But here's a tip. If you would like to add your own name or a year or both, you can. First, ungroup all of the designs, Then click the type tool over on the left side. Type something like a name or a year. And then use the curve function at the top of the screen to curve your text around the, des the design matching the curve of it. And if you do this, you'll want to be sure to attach the letters to your design and then resize the entire combined design to fit onto your size acrylic disc. Step three, prepare the mat to engrave the acrylic. Now to show you how easy this is to do, my design elf will assemble this project while I talk you through it. So get your cutting mat, an acrylic disc, some painter's tape, and a craft knife. Use your craft knife to help remove the protective backing from the acrylic disc. The manufacturer puts these here to keep them from getting scratched up during transport. Pull the protective backing off of the acrylic disc. Now keep the side where the protective backing was removed face up and center the acrylic disc on your cutting mat. 
The mats are 12 inches by 12 inches, so if you locate the six inch lines at the top and side and follow them to the center, you'll find the center point of the mat. And you'll know you're in the right place when you see a white cross. Once you have the acrylic disc centered on the mat, tape it to the mat with painter's tape uh, with the smallest amount necessary on the actual disc. You don't wanna have like, you know, a whole one inch of tape on your acrylic disc. Uh, because, you know, you wouldn't want you, we wouldn't want to be engraving anywhere where there's tape. Now add a piece of tape to the bottom of the disc and a piece of tape to the right and left side of the disc. Continue by adding tape in the four corners of the disc so that that disc is really securely taped to your cutting mat. This is important because you don't want it moving around. If it moves around, your engraving is gonna be really wonky. Now with the disc on the mat, measure the width of the available remaining engraving space. So that would mean everything that's in between the where you taped of your acrylic disc and double check that your design is smaller than that measurement. Step four, engrave the design. Now that your acrylic mat and cutting mat is prepared for engraving, select the design that you would like to engrave and hide the other two designs. Click make it in the upper right corner. Center the image on the cutting mat that you see on your screen. And by clicking and dragging the design to the center, Make sure it's in the center uh, by comparing how much it is on either side of the six line and above the six line and below the six line. Um, and then click continue. Click browse all materials and select acrylic thick two millimeters. Now load your engraving tool into your Cricut Maker cutting machine. and make sure you close the clamp. And be sure you move your four star wheels all the way to the right, uh, because otherwise it can like leave funny marks on your acrylic. You don't want that. Now insert your mat with your acrylic taped down onto it into your Cricut Maker and press the flashing button to begin engraving. Now, depending on the design that you chose to engrave, one ornament can take 90 minutes to three hours to engrave. Yes, really, truly, I thought you might like to know that in advance. <laughs> Make sure that you are prepared by ensuring that you have a good internet connection and that you can turn off any auto sleep or screensaver functions on your computer uh, because these functions will stop the engraving process and you'll have to start over. You don't wanna have to do that. And during the engraving, you may notice this message on your computer screen. It's just a note to let you know that if your engraving tool starts lifting and spinning, you shouldn't be alarmed because that's totally normal. When your machine has finished engraving, remove the acrylic disc from the mat. Use a soft cloth to remove the debris from your acrylic disc. To remove any debris from your machine, use a soft cloth or a can of compressed air to just blow it out. And here is what the finished engraved ornament looks like. Aren't these just so cool? And of course, the coolest thing is that you made it yourself. And you can tell everybody that you engraved this ornament. <laughs> Didn't those turn out amazing? Now, if you're wondering what other materials you can engrave with the engraving tool, I have tested several different products with the engraving tip and I've created a whole post detailing my results. This will give you an excellent starting point of what materials work best for the Cricut Maker. Get the details over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Maker Engraving Tool Materials. And remember, you don't have to use my designs at all. Create your own in design space. Add names, add years, just go to town and have fun. 
If you have any questions at all about how to engrave on acrylic with a Cricut Maker, I want to help you. Leave your question below this video or ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you can get help from super awesome Cricut Crafters just like yourself. And if you need a Cricut Maker cutting machine, I give one away every month. You can enter for the chance to win your own Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And I think that's it for today. Now tomorrow I will be back to show you how to make this really whimsical tree that you can see kind of over here beside my Christmas tree and decorate it with ornaments. Remember, I am always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.